But anyway, here is how I'm trying to stop this become a DNF. <laughs> to the nine miles. It's taken a while to get here. We're here and I'm not really racing anymore. Feet are definitely done for. competitive doesn't mean we can't still run this so let's go and we immediately hit a hill don't we it's only a short one you're not even gonna see it Ooh, it's quite steep Ooh. all right let's keep going oh, I hate giving up in races but my feet oh they don't feel good so let's just get to the finish and then we can take these shoes and socks off Oh, I never wear them together again for a race. I'm sure that last one actually also said something about flat. But anyway, here is how I'm trying to stop this become a DNF. So the first thing I remind myself of is that we're not we've not paid to enter a race to get a really, really fast time. This is a trail race. You're paying for the experience of running along these trails having Marshall support you and just the general vibe so whilst I'm out here on my own because I've lost most of the pack I don't mind or at least I'm trying not to that's how number one to get over this that 10k mark in 108 so definitely not the fastest time I've ever done 10k in at least a good 20 minutes out from that but we're gonna get to the end of this Whew, the half marathon guys have started coming through as well so we've had a few of them overtake and now they've done that extra five-ish k myself of is that I've learned something today. I have learned that stunt shoes and my new Peregrine 12s do not work together. They make my feet feel so squished and they just feel like they're in pain the whole time. So that is a learning for me. When I put them on this morning I was kind of hoping the shoes would warm up to get a little bit more space but that really hasn't happened. We're over 10k in now and I'm still in pain. So, oh, look at that. Another thing I've actually learned is that the Gore-Tex on these shoes is pretty good. Whilst it's not been super, super muddy, I have ran through some of the muddy, wet bits and I haven't been able to feel that on my feet. So that's been a good sign that the Gore-Tex works. I know quite a lot of people don't really like Gore-Tex, but it seems to be working for me. So that's the thing. Maybe we'll stick with that for some trail shoes. 
especially when they're not quite wide enough for some seal skin socks. The other thing I'm telling myself is no one really cares about your time. Unless you're an elite, you're racing in the Olympics. Like, do we care what your time was? Sure, we all like to get faster, but you were out there, you did the miles. So it doesn't matter what time I did it in. I'm gonna get through, I'm gonna do walking and running. Just get to the end. At the end day, no one's gonna care, you know? We are all runners. Whether we do a bit of running or a lot of running, whether at the front or the back. So let's just keep going and don't give up because this is hard and we're doing it. This video definitely wasn't the video that I was planning on doing. I was literally planning on doing just like post-race stretches, but it kind of became immediately clear that this race wasn't my day. So I thought I'd try and distract myself mainly from what was going on. But effectively, I just ended up with quite a lot of like blisters. I ended up with a really numb little toe, uh, a blister between two of my toes, and then this is on the back of my feet as well. Um, it just it was not my day. So if you've ever had a really, really poor race experience due to kind of just your kit, like it does get better and hopefully we're all going to have better races in the future. Um, I definitely kind of plan to do some better ones throughout the year and I probably won't wear that combination of trail shoes and socks again, at least until I've definitely broken in my trail shoes. Yeah, thank you for getting this far. I know it's definitely not the best video in the world because it was completely unplanned. But yeah, happy running everyone. <laughs>